Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So get this, guys, coming from ISO 20022. Let's do it here on Twitter. Ripple is hiring XRPL CBDC blockchain interns for the summer of 2023. So they have the posting up right now. They're already looking for interns. But get this, plus annual bonus can be paid in XRP. You cannot make this stuff up. Here is the posting here, a blockchain engineer intern for CBDCs. This is for the summer of 2023. Some of the things that they'll be doing, design and building a prototype software solutions on top of the private Ripple CBDC ledger. So specifically meant for central bank digital currencies for uh, you know central banks obviously working on the private version of the ledger. Uh, work with CBDC delivery and business development teams to translate central bank needs into software specifications. Help reply to requests for proposals by answering deep technological questions. Provide input and perspective on the role of CBDCs and stable coins in the financial system and demonstrate the solutions built to internal stakeholders. Create videos on software for demonstrations. So uh, interesting Interesting to notice that. Uh, also, guys, some of the bonuses here, participants in the corporate bonus plan have the option to elect to receive their annual bonus in cash, equity, or XRP, or a combination. So that to me says, well, two things. First of all, Ripple still sees XRP as a currency. They have no problem giving it to employees. They're not viewing it as a security, as an investment contract, uh, but also, and I think more importantly, they still uh, do believe they're, it's, they're of the same school of thought as SBI. They realize that this is something valuable that they can give to their employees or shareholders in the case of SBI, something that will maintain value and eventually grow in value once more utility is derived from it. So XRP, in their eyes, a valuable cryptocurrency that, uh, in my opinion, will rise in value. Otherwise, they wouldn't be giving it out as an incentive. So an interesting observation here. Wanted to thank ISO 2022 for pointing that out. Mr. Man here, you know, going back to the topic of the weekend. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the video I did this morning, I will link it up here in the top right hand corner. Uh, more updates, Signature Bank, what the Fed is doing, a statement from Janet Yellen. And yeah, a bearable guy connection four years later. You can't make this stuff up. These banks are the top global systemic important banks or GSIBs. These reports are from last week. Monday will be very interesting. Uh, and if you guys are watching this today, I guess, depending on what time you're watching it, uh, some stuff will have already unfolded uh, because today is Monday. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Bail-ins are real. Get your money out of the bank. So um, the Fed is trying to quell the fears of the public, essentially saying, you know what, we're going to we're going to handle this. Uh, they're really trying to mitigate and try to prevent, actually, uh, a run on the banks don't know the situation yet. We're still waiting for it to unfold. So he's, uh, you know, posting some of this Bank of America saying, you know, brace for impact. Uh, some other banks here, Citigroup could lose billions in Russia. Bank helping staff leave the Ukraine, uh, says executives down here. Lloyd's Banking Group, uh, HSBC, Barclays hammered amid crypto contagion fears. So this all coming out uh, over the weekend. This one from Friday, March the 10th. Uh, and what do we have here? GSIBs as of November 2022 allocated to buckets corresponding to required levels of additional capital buffers. Uh, so you guys can see here some of the big guys, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Citigroup, HSBC, Bank of China, Barclays. Uh, we've got BNP Paribas on here, Deutsche Bank. So a lot of these banks, their fates, well, I don't know if they are sealed quite yet. Uh, we're going to watch, keep watching, see how this unfolds. I happen to see this too from Mike Manfield. This was from a couple of days ago, but I wasn't able to get to it. A little bit of positive news here. Security Bank Corporation, a leading universal bank in the Philippines today, announced that the bank has chosen Ripple Partner ACI Worldwide Enterprises Payment Platform Solution to strengthen its real-time capabilities. So, um, you know, in Southeast Asia, they have their own banking sector and ACI Worldwide. A Ripple Partner is now providing real-time payments for this particular company. So they're a provider of real-time payments and digital payment software solutions. And Security Bank Corporation, or also known as Security Bank, a leading universal bank in the Philippines today announced that the bank has chosen ACI Worldwide's enterprise payment platform solution to strengthen real-time payment capabilities. Down here it says they want to stay ahead of evolving customer and regulatory demands by providing full payment hub capabilities for low and high value payments, including payment processing, domestic scheme gateways, and SWIFT on ISO 20022 standards 
uh, ACI Worldwide cloud native real time payment platform and flexible modern architecture ensure that Security Bank can provide secure services across customers, merchants, and corporate payments and emerging and new payment types by providing a best in class payment solution and global domain expertise. Security Bank will be a market leader in payments innovation in the Philippines and deliver its promise of better banking with customer centricity at the forefront. And we got to remember too the Philippines, one of those uh, critical countries, I think, for cross border payments, uh, one that relies on cross border border payments very heavily. A lot of migrant workers uh, move from the Philippines to other countries, get paid in other countries and send money back home. Uh, down here, it says with the Philippines payment system prime for rapid growth, we require a technology platform that is scalable and can be modified as our customers needs and demands evolve. The ACI partnership will enable us to provide our customers with a seamless real-time payment experience aligned with security banks, brand promise of better banking. This is coming from uh, Stephen John Bell, SVP of Channel Networks Group, head of Security Bank Corporation. And so ACI Worldwide, which is the Ripple partner, is the APAC leader in real-time payments transformation. Our robust solutions go from powering countrywide real-time payment ecosystems to interconnecting cross-border real-time payment networks and enabling the integration of different types of payments into a single unified, intelligent cloud-native payment hub. So just uh, one statement here from ACI Worldwide and Security Bank, looking to broaden the technology and expand global payments, cross-border payments, in the Philippines, and of course, the Ripple connection there, ACI Worldwide. They've been hitting it out of the park in Southeast Asia anyway. Wanted to thank Mike for pointing that out. And another one here from ISO 20022, let's do it. This was posted just on March 6th, so just last week. The WEF is working with leading blockchain experts and central banks to leverage DLT for the new global banking system. So guys, this is the latest article, again, from just last week, titled The World Bank, How the Development Bank Confronts Today's Crises. And so I will link this uh, article in the description of the video. Uh, as you guys can see, there are some pie charts here giving you guys some examples of, uh, you know, how the new financial system is going to be unveiled. Some of the interesting points, though, here, how does the World Bank work? This board has annual meetings alongside the IMF's governors to decide how it can work best to reduce global poverty and help with international development. Now, we know the IMF, the World Bank, the BIS, another example, they all work in conjunction in lockstep with the World Economic Forum. Uh, and so the World Economic Forum's Center for the Fourth Industrial Revolution Network has built a global community of central banks, international organizations, and leading blockchain experts to identify and leverage innovations in distributed ledger technology that could help usher in a new age for the global banking system. We are now helping central banks build, pilot, and scale innovative policy frameworks for guiding the implementation of DLT. So uh, World Economic Forum here, or at least this is stating that they are in fact working to guide implementation of DLT technology with a focus on central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. And of course, we know the World Economic Forum is no stranger to cryptocurrencies. This was a paper from back in June of 2021. Go to page 17 and you guys can see all the cryptocurrencies that they highlight in their report. So when talking about DLT technology and in conjunction with the World Bank, for example, obviously we would focus on cryptocurrencies like XRP and Stellar's XLM. So is it any surprise to you, and I mean, I didn't see this when it was released, but that Stellar predicted the bank runs back in 2021. Watch this crazy commercial coming from Mason here on Twitter. Watch this, guys. The world is full of tensions, all simultaneously pulling on the fabric of our financial system. Hola, ma. Todo bien? ¿Qué pasa? Mira, estoy acá afuera del banco. Ah, pero está cerrado. Qué porquería. ¿Pero qué están haciendo? Déjeme pasar, que necesito sacar dinero. El avertissement interviene après que plusieurs rapports ont fait surface sur des voyageurs qui se font voler de force leur argent à des barrages. And that is exactly where we see change pairing through. Change that is powered by those who have the skills to create it. Change that includes the unincluded. A change that enables all the financial world has to offer to anyone, anywhere. Driven by technology that helps people to truly own what is theirs. De l'argent pour mon téléphone, s'il te plaît. Combien? Le tout. We are the bridge builders, connecting those who seek opportunities to those who dare to create them. On est réfugiés, non pas de smartphone. On est d'accord. Bah, en vous appuyant plutôt sur ce téléphone, vous en pensez quoi 
Our calling is to create tools for doing good by doing well. Ah, no te preocupes, yo te mando plata. And doing well ah, by doing good. Ah. Mais dans le camp avec l'intention délibérée d'intimider et de voler de l'argent, prenant les dernières épargnes ceux qui ont plus besoin. And bridge technical and physical borders with technology for real world problems. Look, see the opportunities. We just need a way to bridge the obstacles. To create a more just world by acknowledging that everyone is valuable and empower local solutions to solve local problems. The Stella Network, a universe of opportunity. Whoa! I mean, could this be telegraphing? What was to happen in the future, in Stellar's case, two years in the future, to usher in a great reset? Run on the banks, bank closures, obviously we have seen lots of that as of late. And, uh, you know, considering Stellar is one of those highlighted WEF coins, nothing really surprises me. So, a prediction? I don't know. Maybe they knew what was coming down the pipe from day one. And Charlie Ward has also made an appearance. Bank collapse has begun. I don't know if you guys remember, but a few years ago, I did a video about Charlie Ward and his opinions about the financial reset. This was done back in August of 2020. I'm going to play you guys a little clip from that video. He was warning us at that time. Listen to this. And I had to mention this because this next video was posted by Sir Gordon Gecko, And this is from Charlie Ward's YouTube show. He has Michael Tellinger and Charlie Freak on here. And uh, I wanna play you this clip. Let me just play you guys this clip. I, I brought up the original YouTube video here. Let me just play you guys this clip to hear what he has to say. Well, I mentioned it to Colleen because it's just become public knowledge. Right from day one, I've been telling everybody about the collapsing the world's economy for a global financial reset, the quantum financial system coming into operation. Now, I know that they were testing it. They sent out um, pings to every bank in the world on August the 2nd. Every bank in the world responded so that the system was working. They tried to launch it all of last week and had issues um, because um, Nancy Pelosi and her team had hired hackers to stop them to do it. Yeah. But I've, uh, it's gone public today in the, in the Independent in England. No, it hasn't. Sorry, I'm going to, yeah, it was, but I'm, um, the Federal Reserve itself, the government website, the federalreserve.gov website, has announced that the system is operational as from today. So they've actually announced it publicly. It's all been very, very quiet up until now. Wow. The new, uh, the new financial system which replaces the Federal Reserve SWIFT system, <laughs> which is for the fiat currency, is now the quantum financial system, which is a blockchain system, which is instant settlement. What? The new financial system is a blockchain system, instant settlement, says Charlie Ward. Now, there to replace the SWIFT system. Guys, we've talked about this narrative for years now. What other system could it be other than RippleNet at this point in time? Now, what I found interesting was that he was saying that this has gone live on the Fed's website and that uh, they had been keeping it hush-hush and that nobody other than every single bank around the world who got the announcement knows about this yet. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. A new financial system, we were talking about it back in 2020. Uh, Charlie Ward was talking about it. Uh, he was talking about the Fed. Obviously, we now have more information with regards to this. This is the Federal Reserve's website. Uh, and as you guys know, uh, Fedwire funds service in March 2023. SWIFT and the European Central Bank and the EBA clearing announced their decision to defer their respective ISO 2022 migrations from November of 22 to March of 2023. March 20th. 2023 to be exact. In light of these announcements and in response to the request by Fedwire fund service participants to align with this new migration date, the Federal Reserve Banks will also defer the implementation of the November 21st, 2022 changes to the Fedwire fund service proprietary messaging system format on March 20th, 2023. So March 2023, a critical time uh, for the ISO 2022 migrations. So what does Charlie Ward have to say today, or Saturday rather? Listen to this. Hi guys, I don't want to have to say I told you so, but there's a run on the banks. I've, I've been telling you for two to three years now to be wise and to put your money into gold and silver. For those people who are listening, well done. For those who don't, it's your choice. 
that we're now about to see the collapse of the banking system, the stock exchange, everything. I've been trying to tell you, it's time to take action. It's time to listen to people who know what they're talking about. I've done so much research on this. I, I get up at three to four o'clock every morning to try and find out what's going on for you. Um, please, please, please listen, because don't leave it too late. There's people in America who've woken up today and realized that their money's all gone because they didn't listen. Or maybe they didn't have the opportunity. You've got the opportunity. Don't make the mistake that lots of people are now doing losing lots and lots of money in America. And this is the first domino. They'll all, they'll all, they'll all fall. Wait and see. This is the start. Wait and see. This is the start. Words of warning from Charlie Ward. And guys, uh, you know, even though the U.S. government is trying to quell the fears of Americans, stating, and if you guys didn't watch this morning's video, I do urge you watch it, uh, you know, stating 100% of deposits from SVB uh, will be, in fact be available for uh, for people who want to take out their deposits on Monday morning, which was this morning. But we really don't know the rest of the story yet. This is a controlled demolition, in my opinion, and, uh, you know, Charlie Ward believes the same. Uh, I've also been saying, you know, buy precious metals, stock up on gold and silver, physical gold and silver, and certain cryptocurrencies that you know are going to be value-driven cryptocurrencies in the future. That's how I'm hedging my bets. Obviously, if you have the money, buy hard assets, art, uh, real estate. I mean, not a lot of us are in that position where we can just get up and buy an entire house to preserve our, uh, to preserve our investment, to preserve our wealth. All this to say, though, guys, the world is changing. A controlled demolition is occurring. They are ushering in the Great Reset. And more to that point, got me a little concerned here, DJ Peter Vass, pointing this out. Bank of America is getting ready for digital ID. So digital ID is also part of this uh, World Economic Forum push, uh, you know, to make sure they know who everybody is. Digital passports with verified data, Providence. So this is just a screen grab here from the United States Patent Office. Uh, and you guys can see here, Bank of America is the applicant. Uh, if I go down here, patent number 11,553,311B2. Uh, and the date of patent was just a couple of months ago, January 10th, 2023. Other publications, if you go down here, guys, The Known Traveler, Unlocking the Potential of Digital Identity for Secure and Seamless Travel. And then they refer to the WEF's website down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, a PDF, World Economic Forum from January 2018. So from before the beer flu pandemic, they've been wanting to do this for a while, guys. And it looks as though Bank of America is also on board with this. Bank of America, a Ripple partner. Ripple, also a partner of the World Economic Forum. It is bittersweet as an XRP hodler, I gotta say. This revamping of the financial system, you know, part of the thought, part of the theory here is that they want everybody brought down a peg. They want to distribute wealth from the poor to the wealthy. They want to keep us as poor as possible. This is why I keep urging you, and, uh, you know, as Charlie Ward said too, invest, diversify, and don't keep large quantities of fiat currency in the bank. The positive news, though, for XRP hodlers, we're at the center of this. We hold the coins that are going to have value. Well, I hope you guys have been paying attention because I'm certainly holding coins that have value. That's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.